Food for Thought is provided by this unique museum owned by Walter Collins of Bramber, Sussex. Think, for example, of the concentration, the craftsmanship and the sheer artistry that has gone into masterpieces like this cat's wedding tableau. Famous today as Potter's Museum, the fantastically detailed and convincing world of tiny humorous figures was the lifetime's work of one man, Walter Potter, Mr. Collins' grandfather. In the kitten's tea party is a wealth of detail dedicated to a richly humorous idea. Potter made everything himself. Most of the furniture, for instance, came from cigar boxes. Down to the tea leaves in the cups, the Giles of his day was a meticulous craftsman. A hundred and more years old, the exhibits are as sound as ever. One brushing twice a year is sufficient to keep the figures in good condition so that we can still enjoy such great jokes as the Rat's Gambling Den Raid. Potter called this tableau the Lower Five in contrast to his group of more aristocratic rabbits in their Upper Ten Club. Both names were taken from songs of his day, and the two tableau are now thought to be a serious interpretation of social conditions at that time. Even if this is true, Potter obviously couldn't help indulging his lively sense of humor. Another example of his amazing skill is shown in this classroom scene at the Rabbit's Village School. The various expressions on the pupils' faces are all so true to life and so easily recognizable. The rapt concentration, the misery of one who has blotted his book, the craftiness of the one who is cribbing, and the derision of one pupil for the class dunce. If the rabbit is a dunce, its creator was a master, a man whose artistry and imagination amounted to genius. <laughs> 